Welcome to Automotive Territory! The winter season of each year is characterized by a great number of auto shows and exhibitions where car manufacturers are trying to get ahead of each other by presenting new automobiles, concepts, technology, and their vision of the upcoming year, as well as the reconsidered image of the nearest future. The beginning of the 2018 in turn was rocked by the presentation of the first electric car powered by solid-state batteries that allow fast charging and increased density. The name of this wonder is Fisker Emotion, and it is one of the many exciting electric vehicle innovations that the automotive industry has recently revealed. Today we'll be bringing you up to speed with the 10 latest car debuts that will be shaping up the future of auto transportation. Even if your creed is to live your life one day at a time, stick with us a little longer. We assure you that this glimpse into tomorrow will be worth your while. Before we begin, always remember two things. When traveling to the future, do not forget to bring enough plutonium to power your DeLorean. And be subscribed to Automotive Territory. Enjoy the ride! Fisker Emotion The biggest new maker in the electric car world in the beginning of 2018 was Fisker Emotion that was fully revealed at the Consumer Electronics Auto Show in Las Vegas. This performance sedan has supercar-like performance, but luckily costs within the premium segment range, starting from $130,000. Although high-quality interior trimming is not going to be the major customer appeal for this automobile, Fisker Emotion is betting heavily on the graphene solid-state batteries that in theory have 2.5 times higher density than conventional lithium-ion and support ultra-fast charging. More specifically, 125 miles of range could be replenished in just 9 minutes. In addition, the previous problems that graphene batteries had, like extremely high price and inability to operate below zero, have been resolved. And finally, the company claims to have pending patent applications for battery technology that will allow 500 miles of range and charge time of just one minute. But unfortunately, cars equipped with these batteries won't come out for at least five years. Genovation GXE When designing the Genovation, engineers were tasked to change the perception of EVs by demonstrating that electric cars can not only be efficient and sustainable, but also could be very fun to drive. We cannot but agree that they have already succeeded with this task by building an electric automobile that is showing true supercar performance in terms of speed that reaches 220 miles per hour. Such velocity could be achieved by the use of GXE's unique electric powertrain 800 horses strong that produces 700 pound-feet of torque. In essence, this is a reworked Chevrolet C7 Corvette brand sport, so it's a rather small auto but the designers managed to place a 60 kWh battery inside without compromising on handling and reaching nearly perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Only 75 units of Genovation GXC will be produced, and the starting price will be staggering $750,000. Byton Even though rather unheard of until recently, the Chinese electric car startup Future Mobility launched a new car brand called Byton that is led by the former BMW executive Karsten Breitfeld. They have presented the brand new mid-size crossover at the 2018 CES that should enter production in 2019 and has truly remarkable features. The standard modification will be good for 217 miles on a charge, while the top trim aspires for 311 miles. Plus, 10 minutes of charging will replenish 76 miles of range. The Byton will be brought into motion by two electric motors, a 201 horsepower up front and a 268 at the rear. This SUV will have the largest touchscreen on the market with 49 by 10 inches measurements. Plus, the car was dubbed by the creators as the SIV or Smart Intuitive Vehicle. Byton will get equipped with level 5 autonomy hardware from the factory, but the actual software will be updated over the air when the technology improves. Honda Sports EV As of yet, we do not know much about the new electric sports car presented by Honda. The vehicle has unimaginative name Honda Sports EV that, however, captures its gist. What we do know can be summarized in three sentences. It is all-electric, it is a two-seater, and it looks awesome. It is a compact and efficient car that utilizes modern scientific advances, including the artificial intelligence technology. Its styling is similar to Honda Urban EV concept, its older sibling, 
that was announced earlier this year. However, the sport model is lower and longer and is expected to have lower center of gravity for improved performance. As urban EV will hit the European market in 2019 and the Japanese in early 2020, we can hope that the production of Honda Sports EV is also not far off. Edison Squared from Vanderhall Motor As the technology moves forward, it becomes more exciting to look at new electric vehicles produced by different companies. Skates, scooters, motorcycles, supercars and even cargo trucks go electric. And Vanderhall Motor, Europe-based manufacturer of lightweight cars, is not lagging behind. It is now bringing a new, similar in design to previously built Laguna and Venice, all-electric three-wheeled roadster. Continuing Vanderhall's tradition, the vehicle weighs only 1400 pounds and is made from light materials, such as aluminum monoframe and ABS composite body. The Roadster is also expected to demonstrate quality performance. With a 30 kWh battery, it will have 200 miles of driving range. A 160 HP or 134 kW powertrain will allow the car to sprint from 0 to 60 in mere 4 seconds. Edison Squared is priced at $34,950 and is already available for reserve. Nissan IMX The crossover version of all-electric Nissan LEAF has been long awaited and the rumors suggest that it is already in the works with the assigned name Terra. But until we see this car in person, Nissan keeps teasing us with concepts, thankfully good ones, like a crossover IMX that stands for intellectual mobility. This four-seater is geared up with two electric motors on the front and rear axles that have combined output of 435 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Yes, this is the most powerful electric Nissan so far, as well as the most enduring, with 375 miles of range. The futuristic Pro Pilot system provides the highest fifth level of autonomy. The interior is finished with wooden elements, reminiscent to the Japanese house, and the dashboard interaction is aided by the artificial intelligence via voice commands, eyes and gestures. Kia Niro Kia is going full-on in the development of their electrified and autonomous vehicles. By 2025, they are planning to bring 16 hybrid, EV and fuel cell cars to the market. The best evidence for this approach is the latest Niro EV concept that was presented at the 2018 CES. It combines stylish design of a compact SUV with unmatched efficiency of a modern battery electric powertrain. The energy is provided by a high-capacity lithium polymer battery pack connected to 150 kilowatt 201 horsepower motor. The new Nero suggests 238 miles of uninterrupted driving with zero emissions. The concept has new safety features, like active pedestrian warning system matched with interactive lighting system to communicate with the people on the street. It has not been announced when fully electric Kia Nero will join the already successful plug-in hybrid on the roads, but rumors suggest that the presentation of a production model is scheduled for the late 2018. Hyundai Nexo Fuel Cell The successor of the Tucson Fuel Cell has been unveiled, and the newcomer's name is Nexo. It was built on the dedicated architecture that allows the vehicle to be roomier, faster and lighter compared to the old man Tucson. The Nexo will be using a fuel cell system comprising of three identical 700 bar hydrogen tanks, 156 liters in total. The powertrain is getting a boost and now equals to 161 horses and 291 pound-feet. This Hyundai won't be particularly fast, but 9.90 to 60 acceleration is rather acceptable. The overall range is now 370 miles on a single fill-up. And even though you probably won't be driving non-stop for so long, you still might want to get the full tank, since hydrogen stations are still a rarity. This vehicle will go on sale fourth quarter of 2018 and should become the test platform for the latest autonomy features from Hyundai, like Lane Follow Assist, Level 2 Autonomy Highway Driving Assist and Remote Smart Parking. Smart Vision EQ42 When naming their electric car autonomy strategy, Daimler came up with an acronym CASE – Connected, Autonomous, Shared, Electric. As a part of this initiative, all the brands under Daimler will strive to creating the most driver-friendly electric autos, suitable for car sharing that are capable of working as a so-called intellectual swarm. 
driverless two-seater Smart Vision EQ42 is a building block in this endeavor. The data about tech specs is scarce, but from what we know, it will be equipped with a 30 kWh battery that will allow almost constant operation throughout the day, and when the charge is low, it will automatically go to the station. The interior is pure high-tech, but at the same time minimalistic. The deadline that is set by the company is the year 2022, so hopefully Smart Vision EQ will be on the roads by then. ET1 from Thor Trucks California-based startup called Thor Trucks recently presented a prototype that can become the main competitor for Tesla Semi. The vehicle is called Thor ET1 and is available in several capacities. Depending on the customer needs, the motor power varies from 300 all the way to 700 HP and the range can be either 100 or 300 miles. It is also capable of hauling the max allowed freight weight of 80,000 pounds. The top speed, though not so important for a cargo vehicle, is solid 70 mph. The charge time from 0 to 60 is only 90 minutes. Judging by performance characteristics, ET1 is a good alternative to Tesla. However, its price is significantly higher. The 100 miles range model starts from $150,000 and the 300 miles one starts from $250,000. Did you manage to take a glimpse into the future? Which was your favorite car debut from this episode? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure to check out the videos presented on this screen and if you want to support our channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. New episodes are released twice a week, so we'll be back rather soon. May the torque be with you!